I'm Carl, and I'll be your tour guide. I hope you enjoy the show. Well, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, but sometimes video just fills in that little gap, you know? The wind is ha uh, well, not exactly howling. We're working at about 25, about 25 miles an hour, gusts up to 35 here and there. As you can see, we're getting drifts. And I just got done plowing here less than an hour ago. And that was a nice sharp edge. But now, you see, it's got a uh, lip to it. And that's how snow drifts form. This whole area here was as clear as could be. In fact, this at this point is about 36 inches deep at the lip here, which you can see from the edge. Notice it's scalloped. The wind does that. It's kind of neat, isn't it? I'm sure you can hear the wind in the microphone. And it's probably not going to be the clearest sound that's all right it gives you the effect so you know what I'm hearing too so you can see I've been plowing now for almost two full months although we did have a little break at the beginning at the end of December just before Christmas when most of the snow melted away but it's all back now and we've had over a hundred inches so far this year fortunately it doesn't continually stack up what happens is you get six or seven inches and then it packs so that goes down to about an inch or so and then you get some more and what happens it packs so eventually what happens is you have layer upon layer of snow you'll have a base that's 12 inches deep but you'll have had over 100 inches of snow accumulation in the period as you can see, the cuts in the sidewall here, my snowblower is uh, 24 inches tall, and that's over the top of my snowblower. Interesting, huh? Kind of fun. The tractor tire is 48 inches tall. So that gives you an idea how much snow is piled up right there. What I've always liked is icicles and the way the snow curls along the edges of a roof. And as you can see here, we have a double, an egg, in fact, a triple layer of icicles, if I can get the angle here. You can see where the icicles formed and then a snow slid off the edge of the roof and refroze. Then another icicle started to form at the roof edge and then it froze again. And this continues to happen until it's just too heavy to support itself and it falls off. And if you look down the edge of the roof here, you can see the snow just blowing right off the top. It's always kind of interesting when it does that. I hope it shows up. <clears throat> but being white snow against white clouds, it may not. But we'll hope. A little bit of winter in western New York. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Be glad you're not here. Be glad you're someplace warmer if you are. And if you're someplace colder, sorry about your luck. Go snowmobiling and have some fun.